Hey, so here's a little demo of um, Doug's Apple Scripts, the, the artist name corrector. So in iTunes, the artist is listed all wrong here, but they are correct in with a little dash here. So using the script, artist name corrector, this current separator between the artist and the name is space dash space. That's correct. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, all set. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate use of the search and replaced tag text. So in iTunes, I really don't like the original mix in my name. So I'm gonna select all, go to my scripts, search and replace tag text. So I'm going to choose the name. So what I'm going to edit, I'm going to search for, I also want to get rid of the space too as well. So I'm going to search for space, original mix bracket, and I'm going to replace with nothing. Um, let's just do a dark dry run. And it will show you what it finds and what it will replace. So it found all of these and it will change them to that. So that looks cool. So let's turn the dry run off and hit proceed. So here's the first one. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. 13 tracks changed, done, awesome. Okay, so let's have a look at fixing these up here. So with this one, it's not showing an artist name, so I'm just going to select that track, quickly run my artist name corrector, hit OK, boom, it fixes it. This one, it's not necessarily going to find it because it ha doesn't have the spaces in there. So I could use a search and replace that to replace it with the space dash space, but it will also end up replacing that one. So for things like this, I usually just end up opening it in iTunes, get info, Quickly come in here, click space, and add the spaces in there, and then hit OK. OK, so now there already is the artist here, but it already is here too as well. So this is OK because it will just replace it with the proper artist name. So I'm going to run artist name corrector again, and it just helps clean up the name. OK, so looking at these tracks, I've got a bunch of things going on. So I've got extra space and the MP3. So I'm going to use the search and replace, but before I do that, um, so I want to replace it with the space, but I don't want to replace these ones with the space. So what I can do is just remove certain characters from the front and from the back of the names. And I'll also do that to the artists later, but let's just do the names first. So highlight them all. Remove end characters from the front or back. So it shows, also shows you a little preview of what's going to happen. So I want to change the name, and I want to remove just one character. So there it is. It's going to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and proceed with that. Are you sure? Yes. And there they all start going. And it's done. So now let's get rid of the dot mp3 on the end while well, we still have all these highlighted and we're still in the name. So remove from the back. I'm going to remove continue up, 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 and there we go. No space, four characters from the back. So let's proceed with that. Are you sure? Yes. And there we go. Okay, that's done. So now let's get rid of, there's no extra space at the front of the artist name, but there's a little dash at the end. So let's go to the artist, remove from the back, and we only want to remove one character. And that's the one there. So let's proceed with that. Are you sure? Yes. And 
points. There we go, removing from the end. Okay, so we can quit remove end characters. But now I'm going to use the search and replace function again as I did before. So search and replace tag text. And we're going to start with the name. I want to get rid of that space and change it to, or that underscore and change it to a space. So I'm going to search for underscore, replace with space. I'm not going to dry run it and just go ahead. And there we go. Also want to do the same to the artist, same thing. Boom, 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 done. Quit that. So let's look at cleaning up these, these tracks here. So I'm going to highlight them all and use the remove end characters uh, from the name, from the front. And I want to remove, let's check here. I love this little preview because that helps show exactly. Oh, see, so I've gone a little bit too far. So I'm going to go back. Um, that looks good. Select yes. Do noon doon doon done. Let's quit that and then I'm gonna use the artist name corrector to quickly clean those up. And it's done. Let's have a look at this playlist. We've got a whole bunch of capitalization things going on in the album, the artist, the name. Some of them are all caps, some of them have no caps at all. And you know, I really like my tracks looking nice and pretty. So I'm going to use the proper English title capitalization script. So highlight all the tracks, go to my scripts, uh, proper English title capitalization, 87. So let's configure what it's gonna modify. So the, it normally selects the name and the artist and the album, um, but I also want it to do the artist too as well. Um, hit OK. Now we're ready and it will modify. And here we go. So it's going to go through to all the names first here. Look at how it makes these all nice and pretty. Oh, there we go, I started doing all the albums. And now all the artist names, and done. 